our student council and uh, our leadership, the teacher leaders there, uh, have put together, this is the fourth year now, for uh, Veterans Day Parade uh, to honor our veterans. Uh, we're off during Veterans Day, but uh, you know, we want to be able to bring our veterans into school, uh, get our kids connected with their uh, moms, dads, aunts, uncles, uh, grandparents who serve. This is our first year with floats. Uh, that was coordinated with our after school program. They're here in the afternoons and they worked on the floats and the outfits to go with that and, and the parade and uh, Kim Prater, our uh, EDEP director, uh, worked with the students, put that together, uh, decorate and they decorated our stage and our cafeteria as well. And so they used our after school time uh, to help get ready for our parade today during school. And we come into our cafeteria and do a question and answer. Um, that is, uh, the questions are put together by our fifth graders and our fifth graders ask uh, great questions of our veterans and our veterans have an opportunity to answer uh, and teach and share their experiences uh, and hopefully uh, encourage and answer the students questions about what it means to be a Marine or a, in the Navy or in the Air Force or uh, to understand their sacrifices and their service for freedom. I never expect all these kids, you know, being so grateful and uh, thankful to the vets. Um, and it's nice to see that because, you know, they will get motivated and one day they can, you know, pay back to the country. I thought it was a great event. It was really nice to see uh, so many veterans come out. Um, I came here last year. I think there was a, a lot more this year. So the event seems to get bigger and bigger. And it's nice to see all the kids that came out, too. I think. Um, uh, having some, especially some of the older vets, share their experiences from Vietnam and even World War II is, is really, I think it's very moving.